What's up guys, it's Track and we've got an exclusive first look at another Dart Zone Blaster. So of course, all of these were brought to HVZ in war. We've spoken about that enough. This is the Dart Zone Disrupt, Destructor, Destructor. I was about to say Disruptor, that's not correct. The Destructor, it's also uh, the Destructor Motorized Super Blaster, full auto supercharged rate of fire so it's using the same sort of a command fire style um hopper where the hopper loads the darts loosely from a door in but it's a little more innovative it's a little smarter this time around they learned some stuff from that load 30 darts in seconds into this hopper style rig system um full auto trigger the rev bar as opposed to a rev trigger this has a full uh, rev bar so huge thank you to cricket sending us over provoke uh, gonna use that to carve up and into this. It's just an overall way better version than our uh, cheap Counter-Strike Go Knife we were using for the longest time. Also, it's sharp, which is nice. So I just want to talk about this for a second. Dart Zone, you're better than this. You're already making the best darts in the game. You don't need to say universal, accurate, and compatible. We all know. Uh, I get why it's on the packaging, though. Mom and Pop at the store might not necessarily know that these are, in fact, the best darts in the game right now. But nothing comes close to the Dart Zone waffle tips, with the exception of, possibly, uh, and we have to do more testing in a future video, the Dart Zone Pro Dart. So before I show you how easy it is to load lots of darts all at once, I want to show you how easy it is to load one dart. So if you're just topping off, off the battlefield, there's a little door on this side that you can slide individual waffle tips in through. That's super cool for stuff like HVZ and just SCNC or just free-for-all rounds. I think that that's neat. But if you want to load lots of darts all at once, all you have to do is open this up like this. It kind of pops open. You can see this is sort of the the feed, this gravity holds the hopper down so that the darts keep chambering. And then all you have to do is slide your darts in. Uh, you could load a lot of darts all at once this way into the hopper style system. They just kind of go in. You got to make sure that you have them facing the right way, but easy as pie to get those loaded in. Let's take it outside, put some AA batteries in it and show you how it fires both outside and over the chronograph. I think it's going to be sweet. All right, guys, so we're out here with the Destructor. Uh, this foregrip is interesting. It's got a down area and an up area, and as much as I love dart zone darts and blasters and how they're just killing it right now, you interrupted your rail attachment here to put a handle that has two positions, one that squats on top of it and one that loosely is a forward carry handle. I'm gonna try one arm wielding this thing or maybe using the built-in grip down here, which means putting this, what's the point of this rail dart zone? It doesn't make any sense. First off, you put a proprietary clip here that's like half iron sight, half bandolier attachment, but then you left the molding for it and then you put a thing. <laughs> I think this blaster is going to be sweet, but this design element is ridiculous. Uh, the foregrip, on the other hand, is remarkably comfortable. This back grip with the bar kind of reminds me of a 1911 sort of safety. Like, it's not bad at all. I think that it's quite comfortable that you're revving while you're holding the blaster. Let's put a couple over the chronograph, then we'll put a few down range, and we'll kind of give you our final thoughts on it. All over the board. The first shot was high 90s, then we got a bunch of 60s. So again, first shot. Error. It's firing so fast, it's actually having a hard time uh, single firing. That's wild. Let's try resetting this. So we got one shot that was in the 90s out of this guy, and that was pretty cool, but now we're having a rather hard time getting those results again. And it legitimately, every time I fire watch, it's got a little bit of lag in whatever its pusher system is, which is a conveyor belt down in the bottom. And that lag is firing, uh, it's, think of it as an echo trigger and it's okay, but. Uh, so that was 97 into an error and I don't know if the camera caught it. Once it air threes, it's not uh, not giving me any readings at all. But it seems like our first uh, our first shot there, if you think of it as a first strike blaster, is super hot. Now coming in here, you can see that we're running low on ammo, so we'll just load a few more darts in 
as easy as that. And we'll try and get one more here, guys. So that was one that I couldn't read and then one at 83, but now we're just gonna blitz through because this is clearly meant to be a room clearing blaster. Uh, we're just gonna as high rate of fire as we possibly can through the remaining maybe eight, eight rounds in there. But the hopper takes some time getting used to, like flipping it open, checking your ammo, flipping it closed, making sure it's locked. Uh, we'll even use the janky squat handle on, on the top. And uh, here we go. So claiming rate of fire of about three darts per second, they're certainly close to that. You can see down inside, we've got a conveyor belt style pusher and then an agitator as well, along with a lot of different safeties. So overall, this blaster is sweet. It's fairly priced. It's got good guts. Uh, I'm just going to say in the spirit of fair play, I don't know how I feel about the hopper in general. Uh, I was a little uh, back and forth on it at first. Uh, I like hoppers, especially for inline feeding. I think that that can be very, very sweet. And then uh, I'm a huge fan of improving it with this singular uh, door dart down here. I think that it's gotten much better, but it's still interesting design. Now, not having to buy magazines is sweet, but Dart Zone is making uh, pretty sweet magazines now. So I, uh, I don't know what direction this is going to take. I don't know if this is the last of its kind or if it's just uh, a piece along their journey of perfecting this hopper technology, but it's unique. It's cool. I'm excited that they're doing new stuff. And I think that this one's a solid pickup kind of on sale. Uh, it's fairly priced where it is. It depends on how many darts it's gonna come with uh, at retail. If it continues to come with 30 of those ultra sweet waffle tips, it's probably pretty fair. But I would love to see it in like a double your darts pack. I would love to see it at a uh, slight discount at Walmart. Overall, I think this is a solid offering. There's nothing wrong with it at all. It's just getting used to a completely new style of loading is, is funky fresh, although. That is very clever, very nice. So that is the Dart Zone Destructor, which may be called the Disruptor. Man, I've got to do a better job of memorizing these names. Everybody's releasing so many blasters right now that it's, it's hard to keep track. But uh, multiple bandolier attachment points, multiple ways to grip it uh, down here, up here, kind of funky. Love pistol grips. I've never been a big fan of the, the juggernaut style blaster. Uh, but at least this one has an undergrip that's quite nice, uh, unlike the Prometheus. So that's, that's pretty cool. Um, but overall, a fine flywheel blaster, nothing wrong with it, nothing exceptional about it, a modicum of improvement in multiple ways over its predecessor. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you'd like to watch me modify this or dissect it live on Twitch, I will be doing a live stream this coming Sunday at, uh, at 9, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I will definitely be live on Twitch then. I would love it if you'd come hang out with me. I might even have some secrets and some surprises for you. Much love, Nerf on Drag out.